First last name. Um, hello, my name is Yolandi Cruz. Hello, Carl Jacobs Brown, visual arts curator for two years now with the Urbano Project. Do I say like hello or something? Well, my name is Roxanne. Um, <laughs> I'm on camera right now. <laughs> I'm Nadia, and I am a studio art major at the University of Vermont. My name is Jake Giberson. I'm an alum of the programs, working here as the studio coordinator. Hey, my name is Bart Uchida. I'm the lead artist here at Urbano Projects to work with a group of alumni from uh, Urbano's uh, Urbano Projects former years. So, the project. Uh, it was left up to the group, basically, with a lot of directing by Stella, pointing us at least into a direction. And it, at the end, Stella and I felt that it would be really wonderful to pick up from uh, about a year ago uh, a project that had been initiated by Pedro Reyes, um, a well-known Mexican artist who still lives in Mexico City who had initiated a program called Shovels for Guns. Palos por Pistolas was begun in Mexico by Pedro Reyes, who had gathered together 1,527 firearms in the city of Culiacan, which has the highest rate of gun violence in Mexico. We did everything from brainstorming ideas to coming up with the actual project plan and um, trying to figure out different um, organizations or families or people um, in the community who might be interested in working um, as a part of this project and um, also to creating the, the installations. Our indoor space to simulate a woodland area of some sort, incorporating different elements of nature, yeah, it's something that calls back to our roots as human beings. With those shovels, different like organizations have been, like Urbano, has been going around and planting trees. Well, for me, the tree, for lack of a better phrase, represents the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. Bart and I, sorry. Bart and I um, spent a couple afternoons uh, going along different beaches along the South Shore and we gathered um, maybe 300 stones. These uh, families can come and uh, add some word, text, name of the, of the victim onto the painted stones that will be part of the spiral around the tree so that we see it as, as the tree is a living organism, so too will be this process of memorializing uh, the, the people who have been unfortunate victims. So I, I would like to see this just carry on and, and have it take on its own life. I think this is a great opportunity for family members of victims or friends, loved ones, um, to have the ability to create something beautiful in commemoration or in memory of the person they lost.